Hi, this is Stark D. Sowers. Welcome again to another Nutrition Moment here at Clark's Nutrition and Natural Foods Market. So check it out. I was at a trade show not too long ago. And the lights had kind of gone down. The place was kind of closing up and there's a lot of people and stuff like that and everyone's kind of dissipating out. I was in an area that had actually fish oil, like people that like harvested and sold fish oils to different companies. And so one of the concerns at the time, they were down somewhere like off the coast of Chile and they had literally extinguished all the fish down there. Like literally just nothing left. They found a great supply. Everyone went down there and just harvested the place out and ultimately what happened it was depleting everyone's like where are we going to get more oil so you know behind the scenes that what was going on so ironically speaking there's a couple different companies like wiley's that does something very unique what they do is they do this and you'll notice on the side it says msc certified tiny little certification that you'll be able to kind of catch a hold of right here so that's a marine stewardship uh, certification and what it basically does is it guarantees that what they're going to do is they're going to go into a specific area they're going to harvest what they need but they're not going to deplete it and they're going to let it rejuvenate so what you'll see when you see this is you know regulates uh, uh promotes healthy circulation all the different things that are on here but looking for the seal that you see right here kind of guarantees you that you're going to get a product that is for lack of better terms not taking all the fish and leaving nothing behind very critical and when it comes to like you know what i would call ethicalness this company's got to be one of the most ethical lines that we can sell on the shelf but i'm also going to show you some other unique things about their product line all right so first of all one of the top products they have and by the way we probably should go through this i guess i should hold this up so you can see this but you'll notice they have a couple different products this particular one that i pulled off the shelf that is a peak epa and the peak dha so what they're doing is you look at this you'll see that the epa is a little bit more concentrated on one and the dha ends up being a little bit more concentrated on the other one so remember that epa is the one that's going to help with anti-inflammatory responses as well as circulation and cardiovascular support so if you're using omega-3s for that reason that would be the reason why you would want to use peak epa right DHA, by the other way, is the one that helps with the sticky compounds that are produced for neurotransmitters, helps with neurological development, brain development, and you'll see this peak DHA, brain and uh, muscle support. By the way, we do know now that DHA helps with muscle support and actually muscle tissue growth. We know that individuals that are working out, if they're using adequate amounts of fish oils, actually stay leaner and increase muscle mass and recover faster, okay? So that's what you're seeing on the front. But I think what's critical is depending on what you're really driving the use for when it comes to whether you're using fish oil for memory, you want the DHA. If you're using fish oil for just like cardiovascular and circular, you want the EPA. Another thing that I think is critical is this. You'll notice on this particular product, this is a one capsule serving, okay? So you have one capsule serving and you're looking at roughly about 750 milligrams of EPA and 250 milligrams of DHA. So what I did is I grabbed something off the shelf and I'm not gonna show you the company. I don't, I, first of all, remember that this is a salmon oil product. And what you'll notice on this is the EPA is like maybe 80 milligrams and 70 milligrams. So ultimately what happens in this particular situation, this product be, being just a straight salmon oil, takes roughly about nine capsules to equal one capsule of the Wiley's EPA rich product. Okay, so I think that's a good visual. A lot of times we wonder what's the difference in fish oils. I'm not saying that salmon oil is a bad choice because it's just a naturally occurring oil which has EPA, DHA in there, which is a great additive. But remember that when it comes to the concentration, that's a thousand milligram capsule that's only gonna give you like maybe 70 milligrams. Well, in this particular situation, one 1,000 milligram capsule literally is going to give you nine capsules worth of salmon oil in one cap. So I think that's critical to remember when you're reading the labels, make sure if you're really considering heart healthy situations, you want that high EPA DHA combination, especially on the EPA. Critically speaking, the other thing too when it comes to it is you'll notice it's a capsule a day. It's not going to be like nine capsules a day, which is a whole different game, right? So as we were saying, when it comes to the DHA, one of the things that's most notable to remember is this. If, it's, if you're in a situation where you're childbearing possibility, right? So which means that you could end up having a child, right? One of the biggest things that I always recommend when females are in a situation like, you need to be taking a multivitamin, you also need to be taking omega-3 fatty acids. One of the number one reasons is this, the first trimester, we know that when it comes to prenatal DHA, for brain and nerve development, DHA is absolutely the animal to use. And it's something that you want to use a long period of time, not only use it throughout the pregnancy, but you also want to use it afterwards because babies' brains thrive on it, okay? And so that's the reason why you'll notice that particular thing. You also might be somebody that says, you know what? This is insane. 
there's no way I can swallow a capsule this big. This is scary, right? Okay, ultimately when you look at it, yes, it can be scary. So what the Wiley's company did is they made an easy to swallow version. Mind you, you have to take a few more of them, but it's a whole lot easier. But uniquely speaking though, one of the things they did as well is they concentrated the EPA DHA. So this is literally two soft gels and you're literally getting still probably five or six of the salmon oils in two, in two of the capsules, okay? So this ends up being a great product at a great price. Ultimately, one of the best ways to get it is in liquid. The problem with liquids, of course, is the taste, right? So Wiley's has a unique taste. They've added some lemon flavors to it. This is a great product. They also have an emulsified. I didn't bring that one in particular, that, that particular one today. But once again, this is a Peak Omega-3. So once again, we have a little profile. What you're gonna notice is this, is one teaspoon ends up having 1,400 milligrams of EPA. The DHA ends up having 900. This is like taking literally a large amount of capsules, it's a therapeutic dose. If you're somebody who needs therapeutic dose, this is absolutely the way to fly, all right? Now, the problem with the oil is what are you gonna do with it, right? So I came up with a couple unique ideas, right? So I thought, you know, we do a few things, see how we do. So one of the things I noticed is you actually, if you mix it with cottage cheese, it actually tastes pretty good. Ironically speaking, Madeline's on the other side today. She's never tasted fish oil, so I'm gonna hand this over to her. Then I'm gonna wait for a thumbs up or a thumbs down. There's a full teaspoon in this amount of cottage cheese. So it's mixed together. And Madeline, what's the thought? Can't even taste it. Exactly. The taste has absolutely disappeared. It's in there without, with, it's in there with ease, so to speak. It's tasteless. It's a great way to put it into your families. By the way, on the weekend, I do eat the Wiley's fish oil because it's just fun to eat it on the weekend. I don't know why. And I'll mix it with some cottage cheese. I'll actually even do yogurt. But sometimes I run out and I also mix it with this almond butter. Okay, so this is a maple almond butter. So here we go, Madeline, see, see what you come up with that one. This one might bite a little bit more, I don't know, it might have a little bit different flavor. Let's see how we do with just the straight almond butter. Once again, okay. all right, it's livable, it's like salty, a little, a little salty. salty, a little bit there, but then I thought I would make you a peanut or an almond butter banana sandwich, right, with honey and I put on here fish oil. So I wanna see how you're doing with this one to see. Yeah, I can see her face, she's squirming, she's going nuts, but I think ultimately we're gonna find out that it has a good flavor and think about that. Everything I gave you here is something you could do with your kids. Thumbs up, thumbs down, can you taste it? No taste, There's works no taste. perfect, right? <laughs> so you send your kid to school, you literally make him an almond butter sandwich with bananas, put in some Wiley's oil, mix it together with some honey and guess what? your kids smarter to boot, right? All right, so good, good tips on how to make it taste a little bit better. Great company, sustainable when it comes to those practices of harvesting. The other thing that becomes critical too is the quality. When it comes to the processing facility, it's bar none. These guys are doing some, some very unique things that nobody else is doing, making it probably, as we say, one of the finest fish oils on the market.